It's time to talk about something that I have been avoiding talking about. And no, this is not a video just for fun. It's not clickbait. everybody what is up my name is Gabrielle Moses and welcome back to my channel today we are literally in the room where this channel began which is crazy because it went from being my bedroom to my little sister's bedroom now it's a guest room that I am staying in for the next two weeks because of all the crazy moving out stuff that has been going on if you didn't see that video just go watch it everything's going wrong with my move right now which is okay stuff happens like that you just have to take it <laughs> and I'm I'm sorry if you guys hear echoiness because there is absolutely nothing in this bedroom. And I'm sorry if you also hear music play in the background. My little sister has friends over in there currently swimming in the backyard and listening to music. So I apologize for any of that, but I hope you guys are truly doing okay. I hope you guys are happy. I hope you're honestly doing things for yourself. Doing little things like, I don't know, going to get your nails done or buying a cute shirt for yourself or just spending time for yourself. Because I know with all of these crazy, crazy things that are going on in this world today, we forget about ourselves a lot and we forget to take care of ourselves. So I just wanted to say, be sure to be taking care of you. And I hope you guys know how much I love you and I wish I could give you the biggest hug ever. But for now, virtual hugs. And I am noticing that this camera is not not straight so I'm gonna no one will get mad at me for me not being centered but it's time to talk about something that I have been avoiding talking about just because it is something that's really hard to talk about because it's a breakup and no this is not a video just for fun it's not clickbait because Luke and I did break up and things might make a lot more sense to you guys now now knowing that. Um, my close friends have known. My family has, of course, known that. Um, Luke's friends and family have known too. But yeah, we broke up at the beginning of summer and the last video that we actually filmed together, the reason why I was so emotional was because we were broken up then too, but we decided to keep it very personal for ourselves because there was a lot of stuff that was going on. Um, Luke was getting ready to move away and start his brand new job. And I am so, so proud of him for that. But I knew that he didn't need the stress of a public breakup on him because I know what that is like. And he doesn't need, he really didn't need any of that. But since it's been a while since this has all happened, I think it is time to talk about it because it's not fair to leave you guys hanging and wondering about everything. And I'm sorry that it did take me so long to talk about it, but sometimes things have to stay personal to allow for some healing to occur and to allow for other things in life to just happen like moving and starting a job but i didn't want to end up moving to kansas city which i'm still planning on doing guys i'm still living three minutes away from luke we are still friends and i'll explain more of that in a minute but i didn't want to move to a brand new city and constantly be getting hounded with a lot of questions like did you break up why aren't you with him why are you guys not together why are you not living together i didn't want that to be what all my move was about because this is a really big thing for me. It's my first time living alone. It's my first time moving away from my family and from all my friends. And it was Luke's first time too. And he just deserved to have some privacy with that and not be hounded completely. So that's why we kind of took some time to not talk about it on social media because with these things, privacy is important. In the beginning of these types of things, it's there's a lot of emotions it's not fun to talk about. And so we had to kind of be on our own for a little bit. And I already had plans to travel all summer. That was already in the books. So I don't want you guys to think like, oh, she was just traveling to ignore all her emotions. No, it was all already planned already. Luke's move is already planned already. And so that's just kind of how things ended up happening. And since it was at the beginning of summer, we've had time to honestly talk. Um, me and Luke are still friends, which I'm really, really glad about because he's a very very, very good guy and I don't want you guys to ever think that he ever did anything wrong or that I did anything wrong. It was honestly a really, really mutual thing. We decided that we would probably just be better off as friends and I am so glad that we realized that now versus later because that would have been a lot 
harder than like say if we moved in together or if there more things had happened but i'm really glad that we were actually able to talk about our feelings in privacy and talk about things just like i don't know adults and just be honest and open with each other and this is kind of just what we came to and he's like and yes we're still gonna be in the same city together i'll probably see him around we are still gonna be friends i honestly just want to read you guys a text message that he sent me after one of the times that we got done with talking because again i don't want you guys to think anything bad of him because he is just a genuine person and just a very good hearted person he doesn't need hate he doesn't need comments so please don't go do that he deserves to be able to live his life but i did have to make this video because like i said earlier i don't want there to be like a bombardment of questions as soon as i do move and i don't want there to be any more confusion because i think we've both had enough time to heal so that i can talk about this now but anyways let me read you guys this text because it just shows how amazing of a person luke really is and sometimes relationships don't work out but friendships can still happen and i just want you guys to keep that in mind because not everything ends with a bad ending so this so this happened after one of the times that we literally talked for like an hour just about everything just about feelings just about life um and so i texted him like i'm glad that we got to talk and i'm sorry things didn't work out as planned and then this was his response which he just really does deserve to be happy and again let's not leave any hate comments or anything but he said that was so hard but needed i love you no matter what gabrielle you can accomplish anything you put your mind to and you deserve it all plus more you be safe and please don't be a stranger and feel free to reach out whenever because I will always care for you. Plus, we're going to be like three minutes away from each other and neighbors pretty much. So I can always help you do manly things like carrying all those boxes. Then I said something really cheesy. I'm not going to read it. But then he responded with, it hurts more than anything to let go of someone who I truly love. But sometimes... God just has different plans for people. We're just simply on different stages in life and I just can't hold that against you no matter how hard it hurts. Also, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done and taught me with our time together. You've truly made an impact on me like no one else. Just know that you are an amazing person too, no matter what anyone says or thinks. No matter where our paths end up in life, I always got your back and you're always gonna hold a special place in my heart. Take care of yourself and keep going after your dreams because you can do it, Gab. Keep being amazing and don't be a stranger. Love you always. I just felt like, I don't know, I just really felt like I should read that little message that he left for me because it just truly shows how Luke is. And I am really sorry that it did take a while for me to make this video. And I'm sorry if this does upset you guys but we're gonna be friends still and we're living three minutes apart from each other and unfortunately it might not mean a romantic relationship but it can still mean a friendship and everything like that because we're mature enough to do that and we're grown up I guess enough to do that now and I don't want to lose someone in my life that supports me like that just because, you know, you can't be romantic together doesn't mean that you should completely end any types of relationships or like even friendships. But sometimes you do have to do things, you have to have those hard, hard conversations. There might be a lot of tears that are involved in everything, but I don't want you guys to be sad that it ended. I want you to be happy that it even happened at all because that's what I am. I am treasuring those moments that we had together, the photo shoots that we did, the wedding ones. We and Luke were looking at those and we were like, that was fun. Like we did all of that stuff. We got to travel together and all this crazy stuff that we did. And we we're treasuring those moments together. We're not gonna be bitter about anything at all. And so I hope that clears a little bit of air for you guys and again let's be positive about things let's not again be hateful because luke is an amazing person and this was just something that just had to happen because like luke said we're just on different stages in life and i think we both knew that it was going to be hard to be apart all summer long and that he was really excited for his brand new job and i am so so proud of him for doing that and i cannot wait to see what his future holds i wish the absolute best for for him i hope you guys can do the same for him but i'm so glad that we got to talk about all of this today yeah 
I feel a lot better talking about this because it has been something that there has been, you know, of course there was tears. Even though it was good, like that was bound to happen. When anything ends, it does get sad, but there is a lot of happiness too. But yes, um, I hope that makes more sense and I hope it cleared more things up, but I hope you guys are doing okay. But I will see you guys in the next video.